with her fingers, shovels into her mouth, and runs off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone's a firecracker. Mm. I see where you get it from. And that's Mother's new fling. Well, I was impetuous when I was young, but there comes a time where you have to start thinking more practically. True. So, Valerie, your mother tells me you've lost your job. Are you having money problems? What? No. I mean, I didn't lose my job, I quit. Without having anything else lined up. See what I mean? It's just, Mother, you know I work full time. At a used bookstore, dear. In retail, which is something I'm sure you know more than a little about. Oh, more than a little. I'm just saying, with the right career moves in your last job, you could have been the person doing the shopping rather than the person working. Most parents complain about how their kids grow up so fast. The years just slip by. Where, oh, where has the time gone? But not Mother. I could never be adult enough for her. She's always had a gift for making me feel like a little kid. It's nice to see she hasn't lost her touch. So what are your prospects? What? Who's a prospector? Prospects. Career options. What's the plan, Stan? Um, well, the economy. Actually, uh... This generation changes their plans all the time. You don't see many young people sticking with one career for their whole lives anymore. Just old, boring guys like us. Uh, I'm so sorry about that. You don't need to apologize. You were the one under interrogation. It was like bad cop, bad cop. She certainly is a match for old boob eyes Richard in there. <laughs> we're like boob eyes dick. <laughs> well, that's too many body parts in that sentence. <laughs> I am really proud of you, you know? Your mom always puts you under so much pressure and you never cave. You do what you want. Uh, I've known her for a while and she can be pretty intense. To be honest, I, I halfway expected you to be exactly like her before we met. I'm surprised? Pleasantly astonished. <laughs> I have to tell you something. I love you. Wow. I love you too. Awesome. 
Okay, woo! <laughs> That's great because I was worried. Val, I have to go to Uganda in two weeks. Yeah, and I'm on my way to Eden Prime right now. You're serious? It's for doctors for Africa. But, but, but it's not forever, and it doesn't change how I feel about you. I've been trying to tell you for a while, but but everything was just so new, and and then it was so great, and then it, it just never seemed like the right time. And now it does? Can we talk about this for a second? I, how long? How long am I going for, or how long have I known I'd be going? I don't know. And six weeks. Six weeks? You've known for six weeks. Can you please pull over? Val, Val, can, can we talk about this, please? What's the point? Have a nice trip. I can't believe he waited six weeks to tell you. That's half the time you've been dating. The worst part about it is, I don't think he was even going to tell me. Probably just wake up to a note that read, thanks for the great sex, going to save lives, see you never. Signed your friendly neighborhood lying person. No, Val, no. He said he loves you. He's a coward, not a liar. You know, it was probably his love that was stopping him from telling you. How is that love? You know who's not gonna leave me for Uganda? Whiskey. More please. What did I do wrong? I mean, I tried the relationship thing, be nice, be myself, but it obviously didn't make him want to stay. It's not your fault. Don't ever say it's your fault. It's probably a pattern of his. You know, I have this great book I can lend you. I wanna go dancing right now. I'm working and you need rest. How about I take you home to bed and make you a nice cozy drink? It has ginseng in it. Darcy, please. I just wanna take my mind off this by dancing my face off. Fine. I get off work in half an hour. But we are not staying out late and you are coming with me to hot yoga in the morning. recommending a cleanse. I don't want your cleanse recommendations. I want to grab life by the balls, Darcy. I want to grab it like this. I'm going to twist a little bit. I'm going to pull right off. And then I'm going to flip on TV and buy one of those food processors and make a half ball, half life smoothie. That's very graphic. I don't get it. Is this what you want from life? Grinding up on gross guys when you're drunk? Maybe. Maybe I don't know what I want. And I wish that everyone would stop asking me. Isn't it enough that I'm happy? I don't have to listen to you, or Guy, or my boyfriend, or my mother, or anyone. Standards.
Valerie, hello. Is everything all right? It's really late. What? Oh, it's Valerie. Go back to bed, oh. Go back to sleep. What's wrong? <laughs> I'm single again. <laughs> oh, Valerie, what happened? <laughs> everything was fine, and then I told him that I loved him, and then he told me that he's leaving. And now I don't know what to do. It's over. <laughs> Oh, no, Val, you're going to have to figure this out for yourself. God knows you never take my advice anyway. I mean, we both know I've had a lot of men, Valerie. Not now, Dick. And I can tell you that in these situations, <laughs> you are your own best judge. Only you know your own heart, Val. Take, take some time. Decide what it is that you want. And once you know what that is, you go out and you get it. How does that sound? <laughs> hard. Well, of course it's hard. But I was strong, and you're strong too. So, it's very late. Are you home yet? Almost. Well, good. Text me when you get in. Sleep well, and tomorrow I'll take you out for brunch. I love you, Valerie. <laughs> Um, it's just on the right up here. Goodness. Poor Val. Poor Val. Things are not going well for her. You guys, this is Galen Drennan. He wrote that episode that you just saw. I did. Very sad for Val. Um, where did you draw inspiration, Galen? I just loved killing beautiful things. Um, you know, if I if I just take something and then just kind of like destroy mash, it. Mash, mash, mash. That's great. I, apparently I get off on it. So, um, you know, wow. what better way to bring that out than uh, in an episode of Versus Valerie? Sure. Is. So Galen is also the editor of SexyNerdGirl.com. Galen, why don't you tell us a little bit about SexyNerdGirl.com? Sure. So SexyNerdGirl.com is Val's in-world website that she writes for and runs with a team of contributing writers. And she, her blog is there, her vlogs are there, uh, and nerdy topics of all kind we post daily. So go check something out. You might find something you like. It's great. It's, in Jedi terms, the light side of the internet. <laughs> Sad episode, but... You guys, Alan Frew of Glass Tiger, playing Richard, <laughs> dating mother. Ah! Great casting. Amazing, heartbreaker, mm -hmm. truly. Scottish accent. We had a lot of other great guest stars <laughs> in this episode. We had Mark Meir, who is always wonderful. We had Darren McIntyre playing the sexy guy at the bar. And we had Alexandra Wiley playing Darcy, who is one of Val's best friends and a great person to have in your corner when you're going to the bar and you're getting a bit messy. Lastly, but not leastly, how awesome was young Val, played by Fiona. Great, super yeah, talented, so, very so sweet. so sweet and cute. As always, um, you should catch up with Versus Valerie on social medias because stuff is always happening there. We're talking about Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Tumblr, and Google+. Next episode is our season finale. Episode 12 is the finale of season one. That's cray. It's totally That's cray, cray. And you know Alan. what? You know what the best way to view it is? Have a viewing party. Get together with three, four, 20 of your friends. Hang out, have some fun. Watch the last episode of the season. Yeah, so send 3, 4, 20 of your closest friends, episode one of Versus Valerie, and then they have time to get caught up before two weeks is up and season one is done. As always, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you want to see more of. And uh, we'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Peace. Airport.